Nullity Dan. Nullity Dan, meaning Null as Giant, in honor of paleontologist Francisco Nullo, is a genus of Lothostrotian titanosaur from the Chorola Formation from Santa Cruz Province in Argentina. The type and only species is Nullity Dan glacieris. It was a contemporary of the ornithopod eyes succursor which was described in the same paper. Discovery and Naming In 1980, geologist Francisco Enolo noticed the presence of sauropod bones on a hillside of the Estancia Alta Vista, south of the Centinela River in the Santa Cruz province of Argentina. He reported these finds to then-prominent paleontologist José Bonaparte. Bonaparte dug up a large cervical vertebra in 1981 and reported it as a CF. Antarctosaurus. The old site was relocated and new excavations were carried out between 13 and 17 January and 14 to March 19, 2019, and a new site was discovered on the Estancia La Anita. A whole new fauna came to light on an area of 2,000 square kilometers, 770 square miles, including six concentrations of bones that could be assigned to the original find, which was now recognized as a new sauropod species. In 2019, the type species Nullity dan glacieris was named and described by Fernando Emilio Novas, Federico Lisandro Agnolan, Sebastián Rosadilla, Alexis Moro Aranchaga Rolando, Federico Brisanegli, Matias Javier Mota, Mauricio Cerrone, Martín Dario Azcura, Agustín Guillermo Martinelli, Julia S. D'Angelo, Gerardo Alvarez Herrera, Adriel Roberto Jean P., Sergio Bogan, Nicolás Roberto Cimento, Jordi Alexis Garcia Marsa, Gaston Lococo, Sergio Eduardo Miquel, Fatima F. Brito, Ezequiel Ignacio Vera, Valeria Susana Perez Loines, Mariela Soledad Fernandez, and Leonardo Salgado. The large number of authors is a consequence of the fact that the article described the entire fauna in which every expert contributed his part. The genus name honors Nullo and links his name to a Greek titan, referring to the large race of powerful giants, the titans of Greek mythology. The species designation refers to the Perito Moreno glacier that is visible from the site. The holotype, McNPV 18644, NPM 21542, is found in a layer of the lower Carrillo formation that dates from the Campanian Maastrichtian. It consists of a partial skeleton without a skull. The following are preserved, a third cervical vertebra, the McNPV 18644 specimen found by Bonaparte in 1981, tail vertebrae a neck rib, ribs, a left shoulder blade, the ends of a right thigh bone, a right shin, a right calf bone, and a right ankle bone. These bones were found scattered but were believed to represent one individual. In addition, various specimens were allocated. MPM 21545 is a patchy skeleton of which only a humerus, a rib and a vertebra are found. It was 100 meters from the holotype and higher on the slope so that it is probably another individual that is also clearly smaller than the type specimen. MPM 21546 consists of separate rear tail vertebrae. MPM 21547 consists of a series of five middle tail vertebrae found in a different position. These have not yet been excavated. MPM 21548 has been found in a different position and consists of a left shin. A few meters away lay specimen MPM 21549, a front central vertebra. Eggshells and teeth of sauropods are also stored in this position. No osteoderms have been found anywhere. The fossils are part of the collection Museo Regional Provincial Padre Molina, with the exception of the original cervical vertebra that is kept in the Museo Argentino de Ciencias Naturales Bernardino Rivadavia. Description Size and distinctive features Nullatitan is a huge sauropod. The found remains of the holotype point to an animal of more than 20 meters, 66 feet, in length. The descriptors were able to identify some distinguishing features. Two of them are autopomorphies, unique derived properties. The anterior and middle tail vertebrae have sides and undersides that are eroded by numerous large depressions that do not pierce the bone wall. From the front or rear, the fibula has a striking, wavy bend. In addition, there is a unique combination of characteristics that are not unique in themselves. The vertebral bodies of the anterior tail vertebrae are remarkably short, twice as wide across as horizontally long. Dot at the middle tail vertebrae there is a large trough on the side that is covered from above by the side protrusion. The tail vertebrae are not pneumatized. The middle tail vertebrae have a deep longitudinal trough on the underside bounded by two thick ridges. The lower end of the tibia is flattened from the front to the rear and widened more across than with other titanosaurs. Skeleton the cervical vertebra of the holotype is elongated with a length of 45 cm, 18 in, 
and rather low with a height of 22 cm, 8.7 in, apart from the broken vertebral arch. The side is pierced by a large oval pleurocole. hole. The bottom is flat. The bone has many small air chambers internally, known as camelae. The anterior tail vertebrae have an oval anterior facet. The sides slope down steeply. The side projections are high and flattened from front to back. The first tail vertebra is approximately 25 cm long and 40 wide. The hollows on the sides are randomly distributed, separated by ridges. They are elongated and run lengthwise. Perhaps there were apaxial tendons anchored in it, holding the tail up. The middle tail whorls are square in side view, have a convex caudalie at the back, a deep longitudinal trough on the underside, numerous but shallower recesses, and short conical side protrusions placed at the middle height. The musculus cauda femoralis, the large retractor muscle that pulled the femur backwards, continued to the 16th vertebra. The procol posterior tail vertebrae are elongated, flattened and with a conical cotyle. The shoulder blade shows few details. There is a bump on the inside, above the level of the acromial process, close to the front and top edges. On the inside there is also a protrusion on the bottom edge. The humerus of MPN 21545 is 114 centimeters, 3.74 feet, long. It is relatively slim, with a robustness index, RE, of 2.8. The delta detectoral comb is relatively short with the lower edge at a quarter of the shaft length measured from above, a basic characteristic. Dot. The femur has lower joint nodules that are about the same size. The lower shaft is strongly flattened from front to back, up to 10 cm The tibia of the holotype has a length of 105 cm feet. It is robust and extremely wide at the bottom. The fibula is 109 cm it is robust within re of 0.4 but not extreme. The shaft bolt outwards. The ends are strongly widened from front to back. The upper surface runs horizontally. The leg has a low rising branch and a strong widening inside. Phylogeny. Nullitidan was placed within the Titanosauria in the Colossosauria in 2019, although its precise relationships remain unclear. Notes.